Hey there, I'm Sourcemake and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an Ethereum donate button for your website so that if your users want to send you some Ether as a tip or a donation, they can do so with two really simple clicks on their web browser. So let's go ahead and do the demo right now. You can see that I have this button right here on my website and the user will need to have MetaMask installed in their computer. If they don't and they click the button, this little pop-up will show up that says you need to install a MetaMask, use this feature, and it'll show the MetaMask website. But if they do have MetaMask installed, and you can see I have Chrome running on another um, on, on a virtual machine right here, and if you click the button this time, since I do have MetaMask installed, this little pop-up will show up and it will show that do you want to send this amount of Ether? And you can see that it's like 0.01 Ether and the converted value right now is $3.65. So if the user does have enough money in their account, they can press this confirm button and that will send the Ether to you. And that's like a really nice donation way of using cryptocurrency. And if not, you know, they can just press the cancel button and that's it. So that's like really simple, you know, one button and the user can send Ether and this is all thanks to Benamass. So this is really useful for your website. So in this video, what I'm going to do, since you saw the demo, is I'm just going to go over the code for how this button works and I'm going to have it all packaged up right here so that you can try it out yourself really simply and then I'm going to go over how you can make it better and customize it for your own personal use so all of these resources and this code is going to be right here on my website I'll make this no I'm not gonna make it bigger um, these resources are on my website you can click the link below this video if you want to get to this web page and while you're down there hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel thanks so our button is just a little bit of HTML code. As you can see, there's just one image tag with this image that I drew, which is this image right here. And there's this other div for this little message right here that needs to pop up if the user does not have MetaMask. That's some really simple HTML. You can see that I have a little bit of CSS here, and that's just because if the mouse hovers over the button, we want it to like move a little so that the user knows that it's interactive. So that's that. Uh, but the real magic here is the JavaScript. Now, I don't actually, I'm not the one who wrote this code, so I don't want to take credit for it. On GitHub, I saw this code from the MetaMask team, and this is like the repository right here. So shout out to them for the, being the ones to actually, you know, have the service, the product that makes this possible. MetaMask, not only that, but they provided the code. So if you look at this code, which I don't want to do, there's just two things that we want to note to make this customized for your own, you know, personal use. On line one, there's this address here. And you know what? I will make it a little bigger. There's this address here that says, you know, this is my personal Ethereum wallet address. You can use this address and I'll get all your donations. I'm personally fine with that. But you probably want to customize this to your own address. Now, if you don't have your own Ethereum wallet address, ironically, if you sign up for MetaMask, like you install, you know, the extension for Chrome, they'll give you your own Ethereum address and you can put that right here. So that's one good way to get an Ethereum address. So make sure to put your own address here. Otherwise, I'll be getting your donations if you just copy and paste this code. The other thing that I want to mention is that we have this value of how much Ether to be sent. And I have this currently set to 0.01 Ether, which is currently like $3.65. So let's take a look at this just to make sure that we know what's going on. When you click this button, the transaction pops up in MetaMask. It's not popping up. Let's uh, click this one. Okay, so it pops up. So um, this is a binary yes or no. Do you want to send this amount of Ether, confirm or cancel? So the reason this is a little tricky is because let's say the user wants to donate only $1, or let's say they want to donate $10,000 worth of Ether, that is. They can't easily do that with this button because the way the code works is you have to specify the value that you want to send and MetaMask is going to bring up that particular transaction. Either send this amount of Ether or don't send it. That's it. Those are the only two options. There's no lower the amount or increase the amount on this, which is a little bad user experience because you kind of want the user to do, you know, um, they, they want to choose the amount they want to donate. So one way to do this is just, you know, either hard code this amount like I have right here to a reasonable amount, $3.65 is pretty good from each user. Or, or the better option is, you know, if you want to write your own custom JavaScript or maybe you're using some nice programming language like React.js or AngularJS for your website, then what you can do is you can just have like, I don't know, some little... Um, input that says, hey, uh, let allow the user to donate or put how much after they want to donate. And then when they hit the submit button, the transaction that pops up will get that amount so that, you know, if the user put 
one Ether, then they can donate one Ether. If they put 100 Ether, then this transaction that pops up will be for 100 Ether. And I, I just think you need like some nice programming language like Angular or React to make that really good. I don't think a regular HTML form will work, but I could be wrong. So you can try that out yourself. And it's really that simple. If you can do that, then you can have your own donate button or tip button for Ether on your website using MetaMask. Now, um, that was really simple. You can see that you can customize the button yourself, the code with your own address. And make sure you follow me on social media. Hit the subscribe button, seriously, because I'm probably going to do another button, um, a Bitcoin donate button in the future. So you're going to want to see how that works, too, really simply. And as a disclaimer, as usual, always double check your code and be careful when playing around with money. I know this looks really simple, and I know you probably trust me and you're just going to copy and paste this code, but make sure you read it and know what's going on. Oh, and I didn't mention this, but this is like a total HTML page if you just want to copy and paste it and try it out yourself. And because otherwise you'd have to like put this in a script tag and you'd have to put this in a style tag and put this in a body tag. And some people just don't want to do that. So if you just want to copy and paste everything to see it, this is just like some total HTML code. So I'm Source Make. Thank you for watching. That's how you can have an Ethereum donate button on your website. Comment if you want to see something in particular from me or Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you can see the Bitcoin donate button in the future. So thanks for watching.